Hello, my name is Frank Lynham and welcome to another linkdark.net video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the Sparkle interface on the linkdark.net site. So uh, you get to the Sparkle interface by just clicking on the Sparkle link on the, the menu up here. And uh, the page is presented here. It's dominated by the editor box where you can basically type in uh, your Sparkle query. Sparkle is a text-based querying language uh, similar enough to MySQL, uh, the MySQL querying language for anyone who's familiar with that. Um, so you, you, you type it in there, you, you specify an output medium here, it's set to XML at the moment. If it's in XML, you can, you can uh, select a style sheet as well if you want. And you just run the query by clicking get results. Now, this first query, it's pretty simple. It just basically says, give me the first 10 triples uh, in your triple store. So we'll run that and we get back the XML, but it's been styled. So it looks a bit like a HTML site or a web page. And anyone's familiar with Cytox CRM will see that the, in fact, the first 10 triples hosted by linktalk.net come from the Cytox CRM. So let's go back and have a look at um, this form a bit a bit more closely. Um, the next section, so you, you, you enter, you can type in here, it's free text, you can type in whatever you want. Syntax checking is done when you send it to the server, it'll indicate any errors if there are any. Uh, prefixes are very useful when writing Sparkle queries, so you don't have to keep on entering very long uh, URLs, uh, URIs. Uh, so you could you could add the Cytox CRM one there. You could add the English Heritage Extension, the XSD for data types, etc. Um, another thing you can do here, uh, which is which is very useful, is you can select some. There are some uh, kind of canned sample queries uh, that we can select from. So the first one was just get me the first ten triples. You could ask for a count of all the contacts that contain plaster. You could get a list of contacts that were excavated during two thousand nine. Let's have a look at this one. You get the GeoPoly uh, for context one, uh, and these are all um, sent. Uh, these are all based. Um, uh, well, it's actually for 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 any context data, but because there's only one project on the site at the moment, it will be for the Perniadigas Pyrgos data. So uh, the canned sa sample queries are useful because. Uh, you can have a look at the sparkle um, that they represent and uh, you can use them then to, to construct your own queries because often it's difficult to understand an ontology from the outside even one that uses a public ontology that is based on public ontology like the Cytox CRM and the English Heritage Extension of the Cytox CRM. So you can see here this is a bit more complex than our, our previous query it has uh, four lines in, of criteria. It's looking for a context of this type, context type, which is set by the, um, uh, that's a type uh, declared in the English Heritage Extension. It has to be identified by a predicate, which is uh, identified, which is defined in the static CRM uh, by a string with one in it. Um, it is also identified by a geopolygon, and we know it's geopolygon because we checked the data type, which is a data type defined by the English Heritage Extension of Context Depiction. So when we run that, um, and we'll keep the output the same, we now get a response with our two variables. Uh, this is our context, we're looking for context one. And this is basically, this is, uh, this is a KML representation of a, a geopoly. So a polygon that represents the, uh, the longitude and latitude values of the boundaries of uh, this particular context. Um, and you can, you can try out the rest yourself. There's quite a few other uh, sample queries there, but as I said, very useful for getting to understand the, the ontology of the the particular data set um, so thanks thanks for watching um, please go to the about section of linkdark.net uh, to learn more about uh, sparkle and about uh, the other aspects of linkdark.net um, and you'll find some other useful uh, tutorial movies there as well thank you